It's time for our mindfulness moment of the week. And this is when we try to take on the idea of that if we can turn the introspection on a little bit and take a vacation from all the, you know, that that they were just talking about on the A word about, you know, somebody's got to take charge and the other person take the back seat. But every once in a while, everyone, whether you're the take charge project manager or somebody who's one of the worker bees, everybody needs to have time to let it all go. Um, And we've talked a little bit about meditation and mindfulness and how we can be mindful in short, short moments. And uh, many of you have written in and talked about meditation. I know I tend to avoid that because I think people think, people who aren't meditating think it's a a nasty word or or some foreign thing that they're never going to do. But I wanted to take a couple of minutes today to talk about one meditation that is going to seem very airy-fairy on the surface, but I want to talk personally about how I use this meditation and how much it helps me, and I wish I would remember to do it more often. Uh, and it's, it's called a chakra cleanse. Now, you can, you can go down that path and learn everything about what the chakras are and what they do, or you can take it just at face value as uh, an image for something to help you, which whatever works for you. You don't have to change any beliefs about anything because to me, there's some imagery that comes with it that I think is really effective. So we've got the little poster there because there's all these different colors. And you start at the base and so you sit and or lay down and close your eyes. And what I was taught to do is picture that there are these colored balls that are glass that have a light inside them and that um, they exist in different places in our body. And all we're going to do is imagine these little glass balls with a light inside, and we're gonna take a hose to them and just hose them down. So this doesn't have to be anything other than having this visual, but I'll tell you, this is really, really helpful. So starting with the base of your tailbone, you picture inside your tailbone and imagine a red ball that's there. That's, you, you can picture it any way that is is thrilling to you but i picture these crystal cl- uh, with you know facets on them balls with the light inside but i can't see the light when i first start the meditation and i picture just taking a hose and spritzing it off and as you spritz it off the ball starts to spin you can see the light and the mud gets shaken off the ball until i see this beautiful brilliant red ball that just is throwing light into every area of that I can see red light fabulous then you move up just a little bit to you know your lower just below the belly button and you picture an orange ball almost as if they're attached up your spine right an orange ball same thing you hose it off until it throws brilliant orange light everywhere fabulous then you move up to you know where your belly button is right there and it's a yellow ball fabulous and you hose it off until brilliant yellow light so it starts to look like a rain rainbow going up your tailbone and you're just visualizing this in your head Um, and by the way there are all kinds of you can go on iTunes we we had one that we did that you can find um, on our iTunes page Um, there but there are all kinds of meditations that can guide you through this but this is basically what it is until you get a little bit higher and you get to the heart chakra some people uh, and it's the green one some people like to picture it in line with the other ones or just slightly over where your heart is it's fine either way but it's green and you hose that off and make sure that it's and I like to picture okay that's my heart chakra I want to make sure that's really clean because that's what allows me to love and to receive love and then you get to the blue chakra which is at the throat right over your voice because it is the one that is about your inner and outer voice about being able to have your wants and needs met and convey those and communicate I know for me, because part of my job is to communicate when I do this chakra, I I spend some time, you know, imagining hosing that blue chakra off. Okay, then you go a little bit higher to your forehead, and this is where you picture an eyeball. And this, and it's supposed to be a purple eyeball, but that when it opens up as you meditate and you picture the eyeball, that it opens up and then it can tell you your deepest, most inner thoughts. So a lot of times I will sit for just a moment and picture that eyeball and say, what do you want to tell me? 
it is amazing how sometimes something will bubble up, something that you haven't really been paying attention to, something that's like, oh, yeah, it's like a light bulb that goes off and you go, yes, that's an inner, you know, sometimes it's, oh, you got to make that doctor's appointment or, oh, you need to call this person or, oh, you need to take care of this. It's very informative. And then you get to the top, the very top of your head, and it's a bright purple, uh, a darker purple, but a bright purple and it's your crown chakra and you really, I picture opening up my head and instead of my brain being in there that there is a purple glass ball in there and that I can take it out, hose it off, uh, and get it nice and clean and pop it back in. It is like hosing your brain down um, until you know all those things are hosed down. It's a, I am always relaxed afterward and feel refreshed like I've been to a spa. Um, and if you want to get further into knowing what do all the, why do we, why is it called a chakra and, and why is it tied to, this one is tied to your throat and why is it blue? There's tons of t things that you can read about that, but just as a pure meditation of, it's so relaxing. If I can't go to sleep, this is the answer to everything. Chakra meditation. You can do it in under five minutes and feel refreshed and renewed. And the best thing, sometimes you just need to have something else to take your mind off of whatever the thing is. And when you give yourself a guided meditation for something, it takes your mind. It stops the monkey brain. Uh, you can do that with Sudoku and, and it does the same thing, but this is a really lovely imagery. Chakra cleanse. Google it and find yourself one that you can follow. It's a really fabulous thing.